Hey, good morning, church. Here we are, Philippians 2. We're still learning to live like a Philippian. Today, third example, right? So Paul has these examples. Um, earlier in the book, he gave us uh, uh, instruction and he gave us imperatives. And today, now, illustrations on live like a Philippian. And uh, the third example, Epaphroditus, verses 25 through 30. Listen to Epaphroditus, right? Epaphroditus says, or Paul says about Epaphroditus, I thought it necessary to send you Epaphroditus, my brother, my fellow worker, fellow soldier, your messenger and minister to my need. For he has been longing for you all and has been distressed because you heard that he was ill. Indeed, he was ill, near to death. But God had mercy on him, and not only him, but me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I am more eager to send him, therefore, that you may rejoice at seeing him again, and that I may be less anxious. So receive him in the Lord with all joy and honor such men, because he nearly died for the work of Christ, risking his life to complete what was lacking in your service to me. Uh, amen and amen. May the Lord add to the blessing of the reading of his word. Uh, lots of great things about Epaphroditus. Um, and and just, just, just think about a couple. First, Paul uses five titles for Epaphroditus. He says that Epaphroditus is fellow worker, fellow soldier, messenger, minister, and brother. And what I want you to think about out of those five which one impacts you the most? When you think about your brothers and sisters in Christ, fellow Christians, which, which one do you, do you just connect with? Which, which one of those titles means the most to you? The second thing I want you to notice and maybe ask a question about is, uh, is, is the, way, the way Paul had the relationship with Epaphroditus. What, what you see in the text is there's this love and care that Paul has for him. Paul says three times that he was ill. He was ill, near to death. He was risking his life. He nearly died, verses 26, 27, 30. And what I want you to see is that Paul says that I want you guys to see him, that you would be less anxious, and that I would be less anxious. And what, what Paul is saying also that I don't want to have sorrow upon sorrow, so grace had, God had grace to me. Paul is looking at Epaphroditus. He's saying, I am so glad my friend didn't die. And what, what I want you to think about is the guys and girls you have a relationship with, um, can, can you see that kind of love that you have with them? And the people that have made an impact in your life, do, do you see that they love you with that same kind of love and affection? 